Hi friends, in our last session we have got good understanding on our project and the source for integration and all, right? So in this session, let's continue to our project development. So obviously the first task is SSIS project setup as per our target server version. So let's go and open your Visual Studio to get started. Let's create a new project for this new project. Click on the integration services project and then click next. If you don't have in the recent project templates, then you can search here for integration services project. Then you will see under this list and then you can choose that and click next. Now enter your project name. So our project name is who is DB integration, right? So let me enter that and click create. So it's creating under my location, source repos. So now let's change our target version based on our company's target version. So let's go to solution project, right click and go to properties, configuration and target version is 2017. So my target version is SQL Server 2019. So because my company is maintaining SQL Server 2019 database server, I want to select 2019. If you are working for 2017, 16, 14, 12, based on your company's target server version, you have to choose this before we start developing this project. Click on SQL Server 2019 and then apply and click yes and then OK. So our project is now ready to develop our project. And before we continue to the development, this is also important that what deployment model you would like to choose. So by default, SQL Server Integration Services choose project deployment model. When you click on right click, you will see um, convert to package deployment model. That means the current project is set for project deployment model, which means when we deploy this project, it deploys into SSIS catalog in database server. This package deployment model allows us to deploy project or packages into file system or MSDB based deployment. Whereas project deployment model deploys this project into SSIS catalog and then we can maintain that using environment variables in SSIS itself, like SQL Server database server itself. So, so that's it. We are now set up our project. Thanks for watching my video. See you in the next task.